Hello, and welcome to another episode of The Daily Collection. That doesn't happen daily, but has a cool title. So, today's something different. I think I say that before everything. Today's something different. Um, so, I was just looking at this up on my shelf, and I thought, you know what? <laughs> this is something. Yeah, JC, I agree. That's JC down there. Say hi, buddy. There he goes. You may recognize him from the intro, Horrors Hall of Grounds. He's the one chasing me out the front door. He's a little slower these days. This is not so much a collectible. I guess it's collectible, but it's definitely a unique Halloween item. And that would be the Saturn Award for the Halloween box set. I'll tell you a little story behind this. So when we were working on the bonus features for the Halloween box set, we were seriously putting in some crazy hours. I mean, it was nuts. The stuff that like Buzz and I and Andrew and I mean, there were other people that were working on other parts uh, like Michael Felsher. It was just insane amount of work. Vidiwell Films is a production company. We've been doing a lot of different bonus features for like Scream Factory and some others. On this particular project, not only did we do, gosh, a bunch of new Horrors Hollow Grounds. We did Horrors Hollow Grounds for part four, five, and six. Then we did the fan edition, which was shot at 35 Years of Terror. Yeah, we had the extended editions of one, and then two and three was on there. So yeah, there was, it was a lot of work. We did the Halloween 4 Back to the Basics, the Making a Halloween 4 featurette. We also did the Halloween 5 Dead Man's Party, Making of Halloween 5 featurette. We also worked on a lot of the Halloween 6 stuff for Michael Felsher. We also did the Halloween H2O Blood is Thicker Than Water featurette. And then the audio commentary with Steve Miner and Jamie Lee Curtis for H2O. Um, I had previously done audio commentary for Halloween 3 as well. So creatively, I'm all over that box set. And the cool thing was Malik Akkad said to me, when we got nominated for the Saturn Award, he said, if we win, I'm getting you one. And I was like, wow, that would be awesome. He kept his word and he got me one. And um, I'm just so proud to have this bad boy kind of symbolize the hard work we did and here is the box set if you don't have the 15 disc box set man you are not a halloween fan you are doing yourself a disservice because this box set this is the one yeah the other one takes up a lot less space but this has all the new bonus material the bulk of the bonus materials in the 15 disc box set so you need that one you got to get this one. You get to see all that cool shit I'm talking about. While we were making that, it was just a whirlwind, man. I remember Buzz and I went to Salt Lake City, Utah and spent, felt like almost a week there just filming uh, for the Halloween 4, 5, and 6 uh, Horrors Hollowed Grounds. Did the interview with Don Shanks there because he lives in Salt Lake City. Oh yeah, that'll stop you for sure. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> and then for the bulk of the interviews, the ones we did some at Trancus at their offices, but for the most part, we rented a hotel room at the Sportsman's Lodge in Studio City. And I stayed there for like three nights and we spent all day from morning into the evening, just interview after interview, somebody would come in and boom, boom, boom. And, uh, and then we had these really cool pumpkins, and my buddy Ian uh, from Ian's Pumpkins, he uh, did all these cool custom pumpkins for each film that we had sitting next to them. And, uh, I mean, that was, that was a lot of work, but, you know, looking back on it, a lot of fun, and I'm very proud of the work that we did. And obviously, we did a pretty kick-ass job because got that. Anyway, I just thought I'd share that for today not me patting myself on the back maybe a little bit i guess and since we're on halloween items i think i'll throw in another kind of cool thing bonus this is another memento i have from the jamie lee curtis horror hound weekend signing 
this knife right here. It's not a real knife, it's fake, but it's, you know, it's replicating the Lamson original like she used in the first film. And she was like, well, what am I going to do with this? You want this, Sean? And I said, of course, yeah. And so she said, I'm going to sign it for you. And she signed it. And it says, for Sean Clark, an honorable man, a good friend, Jamie Lee Curtis. And this hangs proudly on my wall right up here. Thought I would share that with you. I thought it was kind of a neat thing. Just gonna have a little cup of. Hmm. You know, it always tastes better in Mike's head, doesn't it? I think so. Mike would look kind of cool with my haircut, I think. Mm -hmm.